Here's a cool down for you to be done post-workout or after your sport. And here we're just pulling back on the right leg, trying to get that right heel up towards your right glute. You want to engage the abdomen, keep your knee underneath your hip, and try to maintain good posture here. You can hold on to a wall or a chair or something if you need to for balance. And we're just holding all of these stretches for about 20 seconds. Same thing on the other side, just showing you from the side here, pulling back on that left leg now. Again, we're trying to keep that knee under the hip, bring that left heel all the way back to your left glute. Abs are tight, maintain good posture. And again, hold on to something for balance if you need to. And breathing is really important too. Uh, you wanna make sure you keep breathing deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth while you're doing these stretches. And something else you can do too with your breathing technique, you can actually try to extend a little bit further in a stretch if you're able to. This next one is just a toe touch. It's a good example of how you can breathe through an exercise like you might do in yoga, where you take a deep breath in through your nose and then exhale and see if you can reach down just a little bit further towards the floor. And we wanna have our legs straight on this, so if you have your legs straight and you bend over and you can't go but a few inches, that's fine. You don't wanna push the body beyond what it can handle. Uh, these stretches should feel like a good stretch, but it shouldn't be painful. So showing you the same thing from the side here. We're just reaching down, keeping those legs as straight as possible, and reaching down until we feel a good stretch. Take a deep breath in through the nose, exhale, and on the exhale, see if you can reach down just a little bit further. All right, and moving on now to the figure four stretch. This is another one where you might need to hold on to a wall or chair or something uh, for balance. And this one, we're just sinking down on our right leg here, crossing our left leg over the top. So it's our figure four, kind of makes like a, a, a number four. And you're just going to gently squat down on that single leg and gently push down on that left knee. Um, you're going to feel a nice big stretch in the left glute on this. And we'll show you the same thing on the other side here from the side. So now we're on our left leg, right leg is crossed over the top, and we're just going to sink down into that single leg squat until you feel a nice big stretch in the right glute here. And you can gently push down on that right knee to get a little bit more stretch in the right glute as well. All right, next we're gonna do our standing calf stretch here. So just pushing back on the right foot, pushing against the wall to get a little leverage and just getting that right foot back far enough so we get a nice stretch through the gastroc and the soleus in the calf area there. And same thing with our breathing, nice deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Shouldn't be overstretching, should just feel like a nice easy stretch across the muscle. Showing you the same thing from the side here. Got the left leg back now. So again, just gently pushing into the wall to get some leverage and driving that back heel on the left side now into the ground to create that stretch across the calf. Next is a heel sit. So here we're just going to kneel on our knees, knees together, and we're just gonna gently sit our glutes down onto our heels. So the top of your foot should be flat on the floor. We'll show you from the side here in a second too. And we're just gonna hold in position. And as you sink down into this position, it's good to pay attention to your hips. Are they level to the floor? Or in other words, are they parallel to the floor? As you sink down, do you have one side that's sinking before the other? That can tell you a little story about your hip mobility and if there needs to be any work done there. So again, as I said, showing you the same thing from the side. And we're just going to drop those glutes straight down onto your heels top of the foot is flat on the floor so this one's nice for ankle mobility also helps a lot with knee mobility and of course hip mobility and we'll show you the same thing from the back as well just so you can see 
Now, if I had a really, really tight side, which I've struggled with in the past, you would see one hip sinking down more. The tighter hip usually stays up a little bit higher. But here, looks like things are nice and level. So just sink down into that hold. You can move it up and down a couple times if you need to move out of the movement if it gets too tight. Just try to get 20 or 30 seconds total. All right, next we're gonna move into the 90-90. It's a sequence of a few different moves. And it's called 90-90 because you have a 90 degree knee and a 90 degree ankle in both your front leg and your trailer leg there. So just pin that trailer leg with the knee into the ground and lift up that lower leg. So you're just gonna hold that up there for five seconds or so. So pinning that knee into the ground, rotating that lower leg up, pause and hold for about five seconds. Then we're going to cross our arms in front of our chest and lean forward and pause for a couple seconds. Then rotate to the side and lean to the side and pause for a couple seconds. We're going to do that two times. Again, forward, hold for one, two, back to the middle, rotate, turn to the side, and hold one, two. Last swing we're going to do with our 90-90 sequence on this side is just bring that trailer leg all the way around to the front of that knee and pull the knee straight in to your chest. So it's like you're giving a knee a, a little hug there. And then we're gonna rotate back as much as you can to create more of a stretch on that left glute. And we'll just move into the 90-90 sequence on the other side here. So left leg in front, 90 degree knee, 90 degree ankle. Trailer leg also with a 90 degree knee, 90 degree ankle, pinning that knee into the ground and raising up that lower leg and holding. So with these, you might feel a little bit of tightness in the hip, especially the first few times you do them. But that's a good thing. We're just trying to mobilize that. We're turning that femur inside the hip capsule. So it might just be a little bit tight, but it really helps a lot when you do squatting and other lower body exercises after you mobilize those. So next we're just going to move into our forward lean and pause for a couple seconds and then the side lean. You can see I'm <laughs> a little bit tight personally on this one. Some folks tend to be a little tighter on one side more than the other, that's, that's totally normal. So leaning into the side again, pause one, two, back to the middle. And then just like the other side, we're gonna swing that trailer leg around the front, hook that uh, lower leg behind, on the right leg, we're gonna hook it behind the left knee, and we're just gonna give the right knee a little hug and rotate the upper body back to create more of a stretch on that right glute. And next we're going to hop up and we're going to find something to create a 90 degree angle in our elbow to stretch our shoulders and chest. So a wall works just fine or a doorway doesn't have to be a rig like you see here. Uh, but the objective is just to create a 90 degree elbow against that wall or whatever you're using and then rotate your body a little bit to create that stretch across the chest and shoulder. It's one of my favorites. feels really good. And keep that good breathing going the whole time. Nice deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. See if you can get some extra rotation and stretch through there as you breathe. And then of course we're gonna move to the other side and do the exact same thing. So 90 degree left elbow now and get everything nice and flush and then rotate your upper body so that you get a nice stretch across the chest and shoulders on that side. All right, and then we're gonna move into the back bridge, a great one for the thoracic spine and shoulders. So feet flat on the ground with knees bent, hands above the shoulders, and we're just gonna push the hips up, then we're gonna push our shoulders up, and then we're gonna push our head up. And try to pause up there for a few seconds at the top, get a nice good big stretch in there, and then slowly back down, head, shoulders, and then hips. Shake it out a little bit, and we'll do it one more time. So again, we're gonna put our hands right above our shoulders. We're gonna start by driving our hips off the ground, 
then the head off, or shoulders off the ground, excuse me, then the head, and then pause for a few seconds at the top, and then back down piece by piece head, and then shoulders, and then your hips. And we're just going to finish up our cool down with some power stance breathing. So we're making a nice tight fist, bringing that into our navel, covering with our other hand, and we have good posture here. So head is up, chest is out, shoulders are down and back, and we have a nice tight core, and feet are at hip width. And, you know, we spend so much time in our day going, going, going all the time. It's good to just spend a few seconds trying to get into that parasympathetic state. So really focus on nice deep breaths. Try to relax for a few seconds. Finish your cool down strong. 